Hey guys, my name is Ryan, and welcome to Overwatch Central. For those that play Winston, you may have experienced some pretty interesting interaction, shall we say, with the new movement changes on the live servers. For those that don't play Winston or any other heroes that are greatly affected by these changes, I do recommend pausing this video, jumping into the practice range within Overwatch, playing as Winston, and just jumping around the map, and you'll see what I mean. You have much more control whilst you're in the air, and it's just much more responsive when using your leaps to get onto high ground, to jump around corners. It feels so much better to play a lot of the time. But that doesn't come without its big issues. I don't want to stall too long before I talk about these issues. But the reason why I wanted to make this video as soon as possible, really, is we actually saw this within the Overwatch League dealing with Fate's death. So this is what it looked like when watching the Los Angeles Gladiators Los Angeles Valley game. Oh, they gotta get in there. They gotta get in there. They do have to get in there. Fate's still waiting. Fate chunks. Oh, oh Fate dead! Another huge boot from Hydration and an overtime Valiant. So Fate kind of just falls off the map. It looks like a bit of a misplay. You see Doa, the caster, say that Fate was knocked off the map by Farah's concussive blast, but that wasn't the case. Fate just jumped off the map. Looks a bit of a misplay, but actually something similar happened with XQC if I take this clip. I'm trying, dude. I'm dead, man. What just happened? I got you. Thank you. Yeah. The Mercy's one. Oh, I'm the only one. So instead of jumping high up in the air where XQC and no doubt Fate were expected to go, they kind of just veered forward straight into this little wall and fell into the pond below. Now the interesting thing about this is this is something that's actually happened to me a couple of times. Not only have my jumps just not really gone where I've wanted them to, more specifically they've gone straight forward as if I'm dashing forward like Genji as opposed to arcing up in the air where you expected to, but also just jumping and actually not going anywhere. The ironic thing is these movement changes were put in place for heroes like like Winston when it comes to jumping up high ground. So say for example we're on watch point Gibraltar before, what would happen below is if I try and mimic what it used to be, if you leaped on this high ground just before you get to the first checkpoint, you would go maybe two meters ahead, instantly hit the ground and your leap would be used. You wouldn't go anywhere but because you're going up high ground it reacts very weirdly. And the same thing can be said for stairs on Hanamura, bits and pieces on Numbani as well. So they put these movement changes through, right? Now Jeff Goodman actually posted about this on the battle net slash blizzard forums, whatever they're called nowadays, going into extensive detail of what these movement changes were. They basically boiled down to two different areas. Incline changes, which were to do with the steps and everything that we've spoken about, but also acceleration changes where he mentions Winston's jump pack and stuff like Doomfist's rocket punch. The stuff that he gave an example of is if you're leaping as Winston, you can more effectively redirect your velocity around corners. This is something that we've already spoken about. But I guess that these two changes for Winston kind of contradict and coincide with each other, hence why you see these really bizarre rulings of what's going on. You've seen some of the examples on screen as I've been talking of the jumps messing up. Big shout out to everybody that included their sources and stuff like that, we've seen the XQC clip. But as you've seen, there's a lot of inconsistencies with Winston's jump, and if anybody has played more than an hour or two hours of Winston since his changes, you may have run into them on specific maps. Nambani can be quite notorious for it, and of course Li Zhang Tower on the garden stage. It's a bit of a weird one and it's going to be so awkward to pinpoint and fix I think from Blizzard's standpoint and when it comes to these bug fixes regarding movement people who play Doomfist will attest to this I suppose that it can take a while for this to sort out so this was more just of a thing for if you have this problem and you go oh that's weird that it has been talked about it has been responded to uh, Griffin that's one of the community people at Overwatch has acknowledged and said that he's brought this feedback to the team so they know about this now it's just more getting this message out there for everybody else that they know that this is a problem to look out for essentially but do keep posting on the battle.net forums if you do have problems like this and do let us know in the comments below if you've had this experience yourself but also with heroes like doomfist and stuff there are other heroes that have been affected with inconsistencies within these movement changes but let us know what you think what you've experienced so far that's everything i wanted to go over thanks for watching Take care, we'll see you next time.